Hopefully the ping doesn't take too long this time. Hello, hello everyone and welcome to from the Season 7, Division 2, Round 6. We are here for Monaco Final Race before the season break. I'm your main commentator, as mostly always is. Yes. Alongside me is Jacobo. Hello. How are you today? I'm good, I'm good. No hangover? I'm ex hmm? No hangover? No, no, no. You've confused me with the other Alfa Romeo team member. Ah, yeah, 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 I forgot about that. Get off the rank. <sighs> We're not turning you into me. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> here see. for Monaco Wine 6. Final race before we go to the season break for a week. Is it two weeks for Division 2 and only a week for Division 1, right? Or am I getting that wrong? No, 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 just one week. Division 1 have no break. Oh, they, they right, okay. The yeah. So Division 2 are uh, the only tier to get a break at the moment? Yes. Well, maybe if someone didn't mess up the lobby settings the first time in Jeddah, it would be right. Hmm, who was that? Pub this is Tib. Probably. Knowing him, probably him. It was. It was him. Of course it was. <laughs> Heading to Monaco, 3.337 kilometers or 2.07 miles. Zero seven four miles, sorry. It would be 39 laps in F1. That's not half that, thankfully. But in the end, we have, what, 36 laps to come to Dover? That's fun. I am not the... what? Apparently I got my facts wrong. My facts are not wrong. Three point three three seven kilometers, two point zero seven miles. Don't know what John about to. Anyway, we are loading in to one shot qualifying. Indeed. We we'll got on board with one of the drivers. We have not been in Monaco since season four, I believe. That's the last time we raced here. I can, I can actually tell you exactly who won that race. Who was it, if you remember? Was it Jack? Or Gwak? That was in Division 1. Yeah. It was him on the podium, Cyberjo P2, and me P3. Fair enough. But, uh, uh, who was Division 2? In Div, yeah, in Div 2, it was Chami. Who won the race? Uh, P2, it says here AI driver, so I'm not sure, but P3 was Arrows. 
I'm getting on board with Paranoid for his lap. You can take a sort if you would like to. I think I have stick drift right. again, so this controller is not great. So, uh, coming uphill now, um, into Casino Square. Very tricky. Long left hander. Into a quick right hander. Bit of a un un uneven surface. Move over to the right to avoid the bump. Uh, into Mirabeau, harsh braking zone again, and then obviously into the slowest corner on the calendar, the, the hairpin. Oh, taking a lot of curb there. Uh, it's easy to invalidate there. And swing down here, underneath the bridge, and then to the right hander, past the harbour, and then through the tunnel, lit up. Uh, obviously, we're racing at night today. Let's come out the tunnel into the sh sharp chicane here, the barrier on the inside, gotta make sure not to touch it. And then into the fast swimming pool section, so into the left hand there in fourth gear, and then left, and then a right, and then a right again, over the curb. Don't want to take too much of it in case you hit the barrier. Into Raskas then, very good uh, overtaking spot. Into the final corner then, another right hand there, DRS then, wide open and down the main straight it's Jake Rich on pole with a 118.6 two tenths quicker than my chore and six tenths ahead of Swifty not bad in the end but it is in both races is Sheru's on pole position it is oh so I'm you would be happy about that position. <laughs> pole. I, I so would be happy if Allegedly, one of my drivers wasn't under the influence. But... <laughs> JTrex takes P1, my job P2, Swifty P3, Chris P4, I was P5, Nova P6. Gamer Hanak, that's how you pronounce his name. He is a reserve for Red Bull now. Yeah. Just Gamer joined Hanux. recently. Uh, Miles P8, Cheese P9, Paranoid P10, Calvin P11, Stony P12, and Garnox P13. We were meant to have 14, but um. Apparently, the other CEO decided to stay asleep. Paranoid has been disqualified for driving under influence. I wouldn't be surprised at this rate. No. But no. He's not under any influence. <laughs> no, definitely not. Don't know where anyone's on about. It is Swifty leading. You can drive a standings at the moment with 129 points to Mike Chut, 15 points behind. High tech 1 2 at the moment. That's no, Iowa's P3, JTREX P4, Garnox P5, Miles P6, and Nova in P7. Then for you can shock the standing. High tech 243 points for them. ART 50 points behind, as they don't have either of their drivers anymore, I don't think. Mm, don't think they have either sure. of them anymore. Uh, sure. Who again? Which team? Uh, ART, ART has. No one. They have no one right now. They probably have wow. a reserve driver somewhere, but no one today. Would he so probably answer? Expect, probably not. Expect them to fall down in the standings. Yeah, it could fall down the order pretty quickly. If and then, they aren't careful. You obviously have high tech in first place, a good amount ahead of ART, but then again, high tech, I believe, are. On the brink of uh, going over the budget. We're yeah. not sure. I, I don't know. I don't know the exact digits. I, I'm not aware. Not and sure. Of select it. few people know that. So, but I'm, yeah. from what I've heard, they must be close. So, what? which could result in a points deduction. Yeah, you get too close. You have too many DNFs. You could be on the verge of points deduction. So that could eventually hurt the championship. But it is Shavu's P3, 117 points. That is a Trying to work it out quickly. 76 point difference between them and ART, so that's not great. Well, yeah. for us at least. Uh, Carlin are P4, 7 points back, tied with Dams on also on 110. Then it's only 6 points back to Jose, and then another 2 points to VAR. And then there's yeah. Camp Boss, somehow having 1 point. It's. Yeah, it's Stoney who scored the point last week. For them yeah. in the sprint race by finishing P10. Yeah. But yeah, but I think anyone's still in the top five. If high tech receive a penalty of some sort, the top five are still in the in that fight. Campos, Dams, uh, Sharud. 
Yeah, ART, but... I expect them to fall down. Anyway, we will get on to first lap. The light, the light, who a has been disqualified? Panax, Swifty, JTREX, Callum, and uh, Stony. that would be, but it's going to be one light, two, three, four, and five lights are on. And it is Paranoid and Wiggle Wissing to Monaco. Go, go, go! Out of Paranoid and Cheese. Who's got the better start? It looks like Paranoid off the line. In towards turn one. Has got the lead. Sat the vault, but someone's hit the wall Ooh. there. Definitely heard it. That was behind. But Ginox in it. 2P2 still going side by side with Miles through the casino. Is that a Oh, day? we have a crash. A oh, it's Chris. Don't Chris know who is that the was. He's blocked Gallo. Blocked Gallo. Gallo has Callum. Five Callum. Five from, don't know how he's got that. Uh, from apparently. But Miles into P6. Trying to go around the outside at the hairpin. Has made it work as well. Wow. He's also trying to go down the inside in towards, however, and then through the tunnel down towards Nova Shikane. Who's going to have the better run? But Paranoid are in the lead by eight tenths of a second. Can he hold on to this until DOS is enabled and then pull out even more? Very good set from Paranoid covering off Cheese into turn one. Did everything that was asked of him. Behind, I noticed, I believe that was Mychor cutting turn one. And now he's going side by side here with Nova. Through the cylindrical section, he's ahead. He's in P6, so he's he's on a charge. He's already made up a few positions, but he, I do believe he cut a corner there into turn one. Could be investigated later on, but in through Vascas and out of it now, on towards that main straight, on to lap two, Paranoid leading the way. 1.5 seconds. I think I heard Cheese hitting the wall in the back. I don't yep, think he has he an M plate. He does not have a white M plate, actually, but Honax is. Almost alongside, I'm in towards Casino Square. Can he get past? Down towards <laughs> Mirabo or even the hairpin. Couldn't make that work. Infamous move down there. Do not do a Rosberg as well. That would Whoa. put He's you in. Uh, that would put you in FB social media if you do that. And you don't really want to end up there. I believe this is Hunix's first race, first time we're seeing him, and yeah, he's it is. already up in P3. And he's putting a lot of pressure on Cheese. I see Cheese uh, being a bit squirmish, going wide into a few corners, missing the apexes. So he's under a lot of pressure here. Cody Hunnix go for a move into the chicane. He's looking for it again and putting more pressure as Cheese is forced to, I think, slightly cut the corner. Yeah, especially if you're in those F1 cars. Cutting the chicane, especially the first part of the Nouveau chicane, could end your race very easily. Yeah, F2 cars not. Very famous for uh, having good aerodynamics. Can feel a yeah. bit blocky into a few corners, a bit heavy. And the But uh, Cheese is actually Cheese is gaining on Paranoid a small bit, only half a second between them two. You know, yeah, gaining a second over that lap. 1.7 second improvement on his last lap as Galax takes uh, last lap off him very easily like because he did have. Uh, uh, I'd like to focus Keen your out, attention sorry. back here to uh, Swifty and Nova. Swifty right at the back of him. Already one high tech has gone past Nova, and now the other one's looking for a move as well. Trying to go for it, down towards Mirabo. He's not close enough. He's trying to go for the hairpin again. Oh, he gets a good line here. And with a being the tightest corner, having to go on yeah. the complete lock on the steering oh, wheel. We're having. Oi, she's going wide! And he's lost the position into that corner. That is a strange place to overtake, but Onyx has made it work, and he's up into P2. Cheese is really struggling. He's dropping back. He's now under pressure from Arrows, and he sends it down into the chicane. Alongside, Cheese is forced to cut the corner. They're still side by side. Miles with a penalty, but Arrows is up into P3. He gets the move done. In towards the, the driver back. Up into P3. In towards the back. Keeping the lead by two tenths of a second now opening up to three tenths as miles is now putting cheese under pressure into woods vast house they go can someone pull off the vast calf dive oh, bomb it seems like a crash. someone tried to do it or is that that looked like our time on track he has crashed at the swimming pool section was that Don't like me. a daniel ricardo style or something i believe it was more of a leclerc style i think that's I'm even sure. worse yeah, but before that happened, uh, I believe Nova was, yeah, Nova sent it into Raskas on Mitro, clipping his rear tire, almost spinning him. 
Yeah. Three Casino hitting the wall slightly, so he couldn't pull that move off on Callum yet. Into his mirror, but oh. he's gone for oh, it. No. Very late send. He hasn't been able to pull that one off. In uh, towards the hairpin though. Was, and Garnox was never trying to go for it. A bit too late. Move the mirror, but you have, you have to be right alongside the car. Yeah, out of Casino, a you want to be run. alongside. Otherwise, it, you've got. Oh, no we have a move into the through the tunnel. It's fifty ahead of Nova. That was strange. It looked like Nova was almost letting him by. As Ma we have a, a massive on? train of forming from uh, arrows down to Nova. Down to Nova. If they fight too much, they'll be getting involved in this as well. Paranoid race leader now under a lot of pressure from Honix. Honix is looking really quick, but he gets a bad exit out of the last corner, which compromises his uh, chance of getting an overtake into turn one. He yeah, can be definitely. right alongside the, the car in front of you, but if you don't get a good exit out of the last corner, then it's very unlikely you'll get the move done as, oh, we have a car side by side up the hill. Oh. It's uh, Miles in Infernal Chief. POV for Mitra especially. As he is quite right. She's got a bad exit. Miles is looking for it, unable to make it work. But she goes wide again. No one close it's... enough to go for the move. Put off fight. You can get a move done. Yeah. But most of the time, you need it timed to perfection. Otherwise, either one, you're getting. Yeah, you need a lot of patience. Oh, we have a- oh no! Is that Paranoid? It's Paranoid round! He's made a mistake, the race leader! And he's down the order. Right down. <sighs> Don't wanna say I'm gonna have a few words with him, but I, I will. Oh, you got a penalty for that, well. <sighs> well... He's down at P12 now, but... So, Arrows, actually... I think that's also... Comp yeah, it must have. I think he, he definitely clipped the inside barrier, but also because Honix was right behind them, Honix got caught up in it as well as he's missing the right end, uh, right front end plate, and he's dropped down obviously behind Cheese and Arrows. So now Arrows is a race leader uh, who was here on the podium back in season four. I think. Uh, Ace is uh, Wi Fi guy, he's not speaking. That might be his headset. Uh, but obviously, yeah, Arrow's still leading this race. Honix out of time penalty. Obviously, that's another crucial thing. Time penalties are on this track since it's very unlikely you'll get an overtake done. You want to keep it clean with no damage and no penalties. Right now, as it stands, Miles, Honix, she's a drop down behind Mitor, Swifty, Nova, Jake Rich, even Gallup. As, oh, we have a Honix clip in the wall there a bit. Swifty now with a time penalty. Callum with a white time penalty. There's a lot of the grid getting time penalties then. Uh, oh, no, we have another yellow flag. It's a big crash behind. And Nova's involved and Jake Rich is involved. And, oh, there's Paranoid approaching. And he gets the triple move done. He's overtaking all of them. But, uh, oh, that's Gal without a front wing. Jake Rich with a severely damaged one. And Nova with a missing end plate. So a lot of damage. Will these drivers pit Jake Rich five second time penalty for gaining a oh, for colliding with Nova and gaining one position? Galu and Nova pit, so the two Sharus boys stay out, both with damaged damaged cars. Uh, Nova retires from the race. He doesn't think he'll get any points. Uh, so we're down to eleven drivers. Uh, so Chris, BRL, and oh, Callum are fighting here now into the hairpin. Still side by side. Callum on the inside. Chris on the outside. Bit more contact. Very tight. Chris still looking for the move. Missing half of his wing. But he's still keeping it alongside. Into the right hander now. Who's going to come out on top? Chris with the better acceleration. Now through the tunnel. Chris is ahead. He's up into P7. Lovely move with a severely damaged car. But he's in the points. He's in a really good points position right now. Uh, he's ahead of Callum, who's reserving today for Mercedes. But Callum, obviously, should have better 
aerodynamic uh, grip, so I'm guessing you will stick with him. Uh, for the, oh, but he does clip the wall there as I say that. You can hear the sound of a tyre rubbing against the barrier. Back up to the front end, Mychor right behind Miles. Two high tech drivers still hunting Miles, but now, oh, he gets a better run. Miles with a bit of a mistake in turn one, Miles cuts him off and stays ahead for now. Can you hear me now any, by any chance? Yep, can hear you now. Uh, I think that was just my headset playing off. Ah. But right. in towards Mirror, but a slight tap on the video between oh. Miles and Nox, giving Mitro damage off that. Yeah, so I see debris flying off there, off his uh, wing. Yeah, that looks like a bit of end plate gone now. But, um, move down at back involving three cars. Um, can we coin that move as move the season for paranoid by any chance? Uh, three cars really in one? Call that. It's just more, more good awareness, to be honest. I wouldn't call that a great <laughs> overthink. Really good awareness, though. Obviously, to spot the danger and avoid all three cars around a very narrow part of the track. Yeah, one of the tightest, if, I, if I'm right, down yep. at the back. But anyway, on to the main straight again, heading on to lap 9, out by 2.9 seconds. It is ours currently. Can he repeat season 4, is the question. Mm. Oh, can he improve on that result? He was only P3 yeah. that time. He's looking for P3. And that was at a time when there was no sprint or feature, it was just one singular race. So. Was it F1 at the time by any chance? No, F1 was introduced in Season 5 for Div 2, and then ah, it was reverted right. back to F2 cars last season. Right, fair. Yeah. Well, Honnick, yeah, he's at time, trying for this. At that time, I believe Arrows was racing for Dams. Yeah. Fair enough for him, as as you say that, it, it is a damn score. Taking the fastest lap again. I think he had it before. And he's just improved on it on... I think that was new Super Soft Tire. Which would have been the oh, ones... Oh, mistake from... Uh, oh, who's that? One of the Red Bull livery from the corner. It's Honix, Losing a position to Miles. But the two high techs still unable to get... Make any progress. Was, now they have. Honix hitting the wall. They both slip past. Uh, they're up to P4 and P5 now. Miles up into a podium position. Yeah. So this is interesting. Yeah, Honix. Oh, he's hitting the barrier again. Yeah, he had a really good start, but now he's gonna definitely drop, drop back with that damage. He does have a nice six second, six point seven second uh, cushion to Chris behind. Not sure what is happening in my head. I just kind of noise. Hopefully, it is nothing. Uh, my sure then. Yeah, still pressurizing at Miles. But he's gonna go oh. for it. He's Has got it done. Very easily. I'm surprised by how easily Miles let him by. He must have had a really bad exit out of a casino square there. Maybe yeah. the bump unsettled his car. Too sure about that, but side by side in the Mords Mirabo and easily got that move done. Swifty, he's going to be the next one to try to go for the move on Miles. But three... Oh, he's looking for it. Over. Yeah. He's not close enough. He is definitely looking for it. Mitra pushing Cheese along in towards the back. Are they going to go side by side through there? They are. Oh, look at Has Mitra. he got the move Whoa. done? Jeez, it's the wall. Oh, no, and they, he hits the wall now. Mitra with damage. He's hit the wall on the inside. Hey, Miles. But he gets the move done. I think Miles dropping on the PS as well. A position. Sure. Position with n no wing. That is not great. Interesting. He, he risked his wing, but he got the position. Arguably more important around Monica. True. She's with another penalty. That'll cost him severely. Look at Swifty, though. So small behind. Is he going to repeat the move? Dying towards Mirabeau, getting a better exit. It looks like he's got the better exit this time. In towards Mirabeau, not close enough for it. And now it's three into the hairpin. 
not close enough, and neither is Hunter because I tried to go for that. None of them close enough, especially Angel Hairpin being the tightest. This is the sprint features still to come. I just want to point something out and look at the penalty. Somehow Callum has 11 seconds and Jacob just 13. Uh, one of those would be a. F yeah. I think. If I'm right. Oh, as Callum hitting the, hits the wall. As I said, that. Miles oh no, Miles getting, getting one. Three second. Um, Jacob Jay for the five second three. from He's the ahead. collision with Nova. Yeah, Jacob dropping to PA, but I think at this rate both of them will fall behind Paranoid. So he's only got three seconds. Yeah, they will. Swifty into Raskas. Oh no, he gets hit by uh, Onyx behind. Oh. A lot, he tried to look for the switchback, but he had a car right behind him, which made it impossible. But now into the turn one, he does have DRS, but it's not close enough. Late breaking right behind his gearbox. He's basically sniffing it practically. He's right behind him still, up the hill. But so yeah, no room to make a move. Is he able to go for it? He's trying it on hmm. the eggs of Casino. No, I don't towards Mirabel. Is he going to be close enough towards the hairpin? Don't think he will, but cheese with a bad exit could have opened up a move for him, but he's not close enough to try and go for it there. Callum's close enough either. I think, in my opinion so far, Swifty has been the, the cleanest and most most uh, patient driver, as he has no damage. He, he's carefully picking off the moves, and there he goes another one. He's up at the P3 now. Through the tunnel, lovely overtake. But yeah, even though could be the cleanest, he is going to be falling off the podium. We'll be losing it to... It well, would currently be Honex. But he has stay. clean air now. With no damage, he's free to push now. Catch up to his teammate a bit. Yeah, so Callum, another to, three second. I'm expecting Swifty maybe to even put in a purple lap. Like some clean air finally in front of him. Uh, yeah. So obviously miles ahead, arrows, no threat in front, 3.5 ahead of my trail. Sending it on the inside of something of the cheese on the exit, hitting the wall up towards Casino Square. Hit the wall on the exit, but got the better one. Yes, Paranoid was leading, if you don't want to believe it, don't. Well, but he, he was started, leading. He started in pole position. Third in pole position, led away. Made a mistake. Now he's looking for a move on Callum and he makes it into through Casino Square. Lovely move. Oh, little snap there, but he's up into P9. Up in the P9, it will be turning into P8 soon enough. If it ends Onyx this way. and she's once again. Onyx now looking to make it down the inside of the chicane. Oh, wait, there's more contact. She's once again cutting the corner to stay ahead. That's going to be giving him too many warnings, so he's already got nine seconds of the penalties up this rate. I think Ooh. he's going to fall behind Chris. Just to try point something out. We we mentioned not long ago the gap between Arrows and Mitro was 3.5, but now it's two seconds. He's lost 1.5 seconds in around a lap or so. Yeah. So either... Arrow's made a mistake somewhere, or Mitra has really picked up the pace. I think Mitra just picked up the pace. He does have damage mm. as well. Arrow's doesn't seem to have any damage on that car. Both M plates are still intact. At the moment, Swifty, yes, he's still on the podium. At this, I think he is going to be able to pull out of range. Yeah. It's a five second gap to cheese. It'll be a. It's a six second gap now ish. Miles looking on a move on Honix into Mirabeau. Uh, Honix took a really weird line. He's, he, he's clearly under pressure and he obviously has the damaged front wing. Miles, meanwhile, Miles' front wing looks fine. He's just missing the right end plate, so not too much damage. It's basically the entire uh, right yeah, side of it he's missing. Yeah, he's, he's fine. Uh, Holding on yeah. to that P6 at the moment will be turning into P7 if it stays this way as his teammate, meanwhile, Chris. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, no front wing <laughs> in P7 with no penalties, but... Uh, so I, I would say well done to him. Quickly. No penalties with no front wing. Whoa, look at this. 1.1 now the gap between Arrows and Mitra. This is interesting going into the final lap. Could Mitra get close enough for a move maybe into Mirabeau or Raskas? We'll see. 
I don't think he's even close enough just about. Yeah, it looks like he's gaining through this, that Do second I? sector. His arrows have any damage? It doesn't have any damage, so I don't know what's happening. He's really taking it easy then. It's at least no visual damage. But I think yeah. it's through that second sector that Mitra is gaining mostly, as you see now. Gaining his time out of Casino Square, down towards the hairpin, he's just gaining another tenth on him. Within it takes tenths between them. Yeah, within six and a half tenths. Dropping below f a half second, can he? He's right behind him. Oh! Contact between he's the pair of them. Down towards Nova Shkian. One and a half tenths between the pair of them. Can he pull off a move into he Nova Shkian? Go he's he's going to have slam. to go for it what? sooner or later. Neither of them have penalties. Almost pushing him through the Shkian wow. towards the back. They go now. Looks like Arrows being ahead through sector three is going to have it so far. But pushing him through was Mitra and that high tech through. Ooh, is he gonna go for into Raskas? In towards Raskas, no. not going for no. that infamous dive bomb, but out of Raskas now they head. Can Arrows hold That's on cool. to it up towards the line? It looks like it is gonna be Arrows in that VAR. He's winning wow. here in the sprint by one six three tenths. One tenth. That was. That was a crazy finish. Didn't expect Mitra to catch up that much. Swifty on the podium. Comfortable lead. Yeah, Swifty P3. Honix P5 in the end. Chris with no front wing gets up to P4. Well Good done to him. him yeah. Uh, yeah that, was, that was great P8. racing around Monaco. Galanox takes P9 off that. I think it is going to be Dietrich's P10, though. So where he started P10. in the yeah. sprint is where he has finished. But might should drive the day of the sprint, at least. He had red damage, apparently. So well done to him. So currently... Paranoid is um, keeping his streak. Yeah, he has scored points again. He was in the top ten. Points in every single race. Just needs to keep it out of not only the barriers but also the harbour for the feature race. Unfortunate for him in the Novosh Kian. Hopefully he doesn't repeat this time. Starting in P10. But Arrows P1, Mitra P2, Swifty P3, running off your podium is Chris P4 with no front wing, so well done to him. I want to find Swifty. Harnox P5, Miles P6, Cheese P7, Paranoid P8, Garnox P9, Dietrich P10 where he started, Callum P11 running off your finishes, and it's Nova who retired in the pit lane, Stoney who retired down at the swimming pool. In towards the feature race now, can Dietrich pull away? He does have Mitra standing alongside him, so it, it would all come down to who gets the better launch off the five red lights. Yeah. Who is going to get it this time? Would ghosting on have maybe not have made that to back crash happen? You never know. But getting into the feature race now, can Mitra pull off another podium here in Monaco? Or will it be someone else? Yeah, I uh, don't expect them to finish the way they're going to start because there, there probably will be a crash somewhere along the line. The grid will be shaken up. The order may be a safety car, it is unreduced, and we rarely, we rarely see safety cars at Monaco, ironically, in this league. We, we've never seen one in Div 1 yet, and they rarely come out in Div 2. Yeah, for a track with the closest barriers, 
You would expect more safety cars. Absolutely. But, uh, yeah. Split strategies in. were featureless. My trust, Swifty, Nova, and Stony, the only ones that are on the softs. Mm. Everyone else is on those super softs. So they will last you until a round lap. Can last 15 laps on the softs. Oh, someone's. I think that's Swifty there hitting the wall on the. Of, on yeah, the, uh, through the it airport. seems like a uh, wall riding is common in yeah. <laughs> the happen at least, especially on your uh, from up. It is interesting from high tech. I wouldn't have expected him to go with the soft tires because now theoretically Jake Rich should get a really good launch and pull away. Yeah, but it does mean they can run longer into the race. Mm. Those super, True. those softs, they can last 15 laps as we saw from the sprint, meaning. Those super softs, they can last up to, if I'm right, it's up to nine laps maximum. Now that I'm thinking about it as well, Jay Critch, by hitting, uh, by being on the super softs, he should technically have a more, he should have more traffic, right, when he pits and comes out? And um, Mitra would. Since I'm gonna, soft I'm just gonna ask one thing, uh, why are we talking about Twiggy by any chance? Who? Yeah, uh, Jude. Talk son. We're talking about Twiggy, apparently. Who's Twiggy? <laughs> Do you not remember Twiggy from, like, season 5 of oh, Wine 1? he thinks you're Twiggy. Uh, <laughs> Twiggy's voice is, like... Really He's... Crazy. His is higher pitched. Paranoid being disqualified. I'm gonna have a few words with that man after this race. Maybe drinking was not the way to go. Absolutely. Okay. One light, two, three, four, five red lights are on, and it is going to be Perelman and Weagle Racing here in the feature race for Monaco. Has Mitra got that start? It looks like he hasn't. In towards turn one, we head now. Mitra is leading away. Swifty hasn't got the greatest launch off that grid, but I was keeping it. Has he kept P4? No, everyone has kept their position. Look at Miles though, side by side with Cheese through Whoa. Casino Square into Woods. Uh, part of the track. No, I end the sector one towards Bobo, still side by side between the pair of them. Cheese trying to send one back on the inside towards the pin we had. No, is it going to be side by side? Miles, a little bit already oh. between them. A little oh. bit of a pile up as well with Nova going very slowly oh, in that car then. As Cheese sending one down the inside cool. in towards the harbour. They now, head now. Now that is an overtake. Through the uh, tunnel. Has he got this overtake nailed? It looks like he has got it. Miles though in towards Nova Shakin. Has he sent one down the inside? He's not. He's just a second behind as he's clipped the, the wall slightly, giving him Still going. the entry that he would not have wanted. As look at Gowan Hux by side through. To back as he gets oh, no. spun round oh, and Callum. hit by his own teammate. Was it? Oh, that comes at the wall. Oh no. That's not oh, great Callum between the Dams team, but now Ooh. heading on towards lap two, JTrex in the lead by four That's tenths of a second. Can Mitra pull back that gap? Heading up towards Casino Square. It looks like Miles and Nova still side by side. Going through something of as I think Paranoid hitting the wall slightly on the exit. But up towards Casino Square. Nova trying to get the run on him. He's not close enough just about yet to go for it. But down towards Mirabeau, he's going to be a lot closer if he gets to get a good exit. Yeah, uh, I'm impressed by Cheese's uh, race graph there, making first overtake on Miles around the outside of the hairpin, and then finding the trust, I guess, in his tires to then go down the inside of Nova and get up to P7. Yeah, getting moves done as Swifty, the three high techs, staying within that one second of JTrex at the moment. Arrows though under pressure from Chris as he's following him through the swimming pool section, one tenth separating them. Yeah. Heading towards Oh, Malpica. and the uh, arrows clips the wall there, I think. That's not what Small you bit. want, especially in Monaco. Especially having to make a pit stop as well. You could get your front wing changed. You will have to spend another five or it's like seven or so seconds. That's an F1 car, so. Yeah. I think it's up to 
It might and be a bit longer. I think it's yeah. I think it's at least ten for F two code. It's normally like an eight second pit stop to an F one code change your front wing. It's at least I think twelve in the F two cars as they only have one man per tire. Yeah. Whereas you normally get a three for F one. That's not in including the rest of the personnel. You don't want to be damaging your car, wasting time in the pit stops. That is also very true. Damage on Monaco, very likely, but also very crucial to not get it. Let's look at Chris. Mm -hmm. No front wing in the sprint race. Got him P4. Yeah. Wing, where can you get this time? Down in towards Nova Shakian. Heading down towards the back afterwards, little tap in the rear, four arrows between the two of them, but through to back, he's not close enough to try to go for it, or in towards swimming pool, but only on lap three of 21, still got a long way to go. Yeah, Mitra able to keep up with Jake Rich, really impressive from the high-tech driver, and now actually close up even more. Is he close Who up is to that? the We have a retirement. That Stoney is again. Stoney again in swimming pool. Let me have a look. Is he on the track? Oh, he he's is. in the middle of the track. That should be a safety car. That should be a safety car, but I don't think As it is. As Galanox just got his on board of that. Very, yeah, right very close to hitting him. If only that was F1 Stoney. cars. Yeah. You would not have yeah. been racing still. Mm -hmm. Mitra still applying the pressure right behind them. Not making it's too early to be going forward takes at this stage of the race. After the pit stops maybe. I'm expecting them to go to go to war. <laughs> Look at Chris now. Uh, yeah. Towards Novell. <laughs> Is he close enough to go for a sand? He's not. Having this supply yeah. just for now. Four turns between the pair of them. Towards the back they head. Two and a half. Dropping low two as well. Like on the wall, I heard there. But now heading for some Look at what has happened to him. He's just got a brilliant exit on his back. Oi, look at him. He's going in down the inside of Raskas. Oh, he's made it work. Raskas yeah. dive bomb. Three and two. Oh, hey. He oh, hasn't. He gets it back. Arrow gets it back. <laughs> so first lovely, it goes from a dive fighting. bomb to a one the outside anti nose. Made it work. Oh. Chris almost spinning there through turn one. He's uh, really stepping Might out. Mitra through Marthanet. And I heading in towards Casino. He's not close enough to go for it yet. But in towards Mirabeau. Just having to sit behind. I haven't seen anyone do it Rosberg. Hmm. No one here uses no S or I think we. Uh, oh. Okay. But in towards no belt lap five of twenty one, pushing him through in towards the back. They had two and a half tenths. Mitra gaining a lot through Sector 2 compared to Jatrix. It looks like Sector... Oh, he taps him. It looks like Jatrix is end really of struggling. Sector, end of Sector 2 and Sector 3 is where Mitra is gaining massively. Those super softs might already be dead. Because he's really, really uh, sluggish into each corner, missing the apexes. Mitra just looks like he has way more grip than him. Yeah. Well, they are five laps old now. Super softs, they are one step uh, softer than yeah. the softs, but they should last a little bit longer than this. We saw in the sprint, softs are able to last those 15 laps. But... Yeah, softs 15... Yeah. That's what depends on the setup, I guess, maybe. Shakerich's tyres are just wearing off more. Yeah, tyre pressures maybe. Mm, yeah. Because minimum tyre pressures is what less wear, but maximum grip. Jakerich might think? have to. Yeah, Jakerich might have to go for an undercut then. Early pit stop. But it looks. Yeah. Good. But for now, oh, he gets Ooh. hit. Oh. Tapping the rear, Mitra is pushing him through these corners. 
Is it Turn smart? Is it gonna be smart for yeah. my church to let Swifty go? I wonder if Mike got damage from that. Chris, now it's like a spend with swim boat. He spun oh. mine because he's oh, just come track. Yeah. On sea of four arrows there. He's not falling into the clutches of Hanna because he's gonna. I don't think he's gonna pass though. As that oh, is. Oh, Mike was really close now. Hanna in towards the pit lane. Not close enough, Mike. But I was interesting. Uh, I might also get reported, I guess. I wonder if Mitra got damage. Oh, he has no visual damage, but he might have some light damage uh, from that, because that was a really big hit. Uh, I well, thought Jakerich was gone there for a second, looked like he was going to get spun around. Jakerich is doing what he's what he has to do, just keeping them behind. There's not many overtaking spots around this track. Um, yeah, yeah, their happened. tires were only wet. Their tires are, will only wear off more the longer they are stuck behind them. The yeah, year. she's trying to go on the outside of arrows at the hairpin. He's made that one work. Oh, but yeah, he's but arrows lightly grazed the Yeah, oh, the arrows has to pit now then. Yeah, out of Portier. He's not close enough for it. But he has no front wing. Hitting him wrong slightly. She having to cut the corner there. There's Miles. Oh, getting look, a yeah. time penalty for that. Yeah, it's very congested down from a uh, P6 to P9. Those yeah, proximity it is. four cars. Yeah, but look at our not ours, sorry. Nova, he's having to push ours through these corners. He's gonna come into the pits now. About 60 kilometer split or 30 miles yeah. have it on. But that's on the pits. Oliver in shot that we all know of. It is. Once again, my chore. Oh no, Jake Richard, a moment! Oh no! Swifty, no, Swifty going for the double one. move on it, then towards Mirror it... Bow. He's trying to send it back in the... on her. Oi, more her tire pin. pumping! Still tire lock between the pair of them, three Mirror Bow. He's not close enough uh, to go for it. Jake Richard's sending it! <laughs> oh my air. days! It's so tight! What is that, Jake Richard? Oh, Swifty okay. with a good run though, and through the tunnel, this is dangerous. But he's got the inside, Swifty. He's gonna try and send it. Has he overcooked it? Oh, he hasn't. Like, Lovely move. But he's got past. <laughs> got oh. a two and one. That was. Mm, I think. Look at uh, Chris Jake as well. Jake had a moment. Exit of the casino uh, square. Jake had a big moment. Almost taking out Mitro, putting him in the barrier. Allowing Swifty to get up into P2 and then obviously get past. Uh, oh no, no, my church has been spun. He's pitting. He's pitting early because he knew that is, uh, yeah. No, he just what had he to, wants to get away from that pack. He might have damage as well. I think he has damage. He might be getting new front wing with this. Is he? Yeah, he is. He is. So that's not a great either. Does, does Swifty have any damage after all that? There was a lot of bumping. Uh, Mitra has no visual damage. No Swifty, visual. Swifty, on the other hand. Uh, no visual. No visual. Hmm. Interesting. That was... Yeah, I wonder how the stewards will in interpret that. There's a lot of uh, shoving and pushing there. Yeah. It's but... uh, high-tech 1-2 now. High-tech 1-2. You remember, these were for... They weren't for... Just yet. Um, can't you were pit stop into it? So yeah, the two high tech drivers now just have to build up a gap big enough to avoid all the traffic when they pit. Uh, Chris, trying to go on the right side at the hairpin through Portier. Is he gonna have the run down towards Nova Shikin? Doesn't look like he's got it just yet. Three tenths of a second between the pair of them. He is on those new softs while Hanax has been on them for two laps already. Still, six more drivers to make their pit stop. Uh, that would be including uh, the two high techs, a Carlin, a Cheroos, Dams, and I was going to say Vitozzi, but that is that Vitozzi into the pit lane. Oh, Chris, have you seen that? He was about to hit the barrier, but uh, yeah. very quick thinking, the quick uh, yeah, move of the steering wheel to avoid the barrier. Obviously, cost him a few tenths, but. Uh, in the long run, it's probably better to lose a few tents than to lose your front wing. 
So Fine. it's still up in the P P5 now. Uh, after a few up people in the P5. Are, are Where does Miles come out? Miles comes out in P8 behind. Be close. Behind Cheese and Jadrix. Jadrix is uh, showing really good pace on those starts, but he is approaching Cheese now, which will be interesting. That might slow him up. This is what has happened there. Honex is out. What has happened there? That is in oh, towards big... Mirabo. That's, that's a strange place to crash. Yeah. No, no safety car. car. That safety car would have really helped uh, Swifty and Mitro. Has he been put in a, in a wall? I... Yeah, I wonder. That's a strange place to lose your car. Kinda hard to, unless... Yeah, there must have been some contact with someone, I'm, I'm guessing. Safety car is dead. Just going back up. It's unreduced. It is. It is definitely on though. I know it's on, yeah. but it is on. Yeah. Jakerich right behind cheese. So yeah, this is probably what Jakerich wanted to avoid. A lot of traffic, really slowing him down. He needs to yeah. get past him as soon as possible if he wants to stay within range of when uh, Swifty and Mike were there. Yes, Add a couple of seconds onto it. But in the new pit. Well, question is, team orders, who pit first? Yeah, I wonder, because uh, in F2 cars, it really makes a difference pitting a lap earlier or later. You can really feel the difference on the tires. Yeah. Uh, Especially in these F2 cars being, yeah. what, the old chassis model as well? Oi, she's yeah, really holding up. She's really struggling in these corners. Just Jake Rich is unable to make any move anywhere. He might be able to get a good run here though. Just needs a good exit here. And then through the tunnel. Uh, it doesn't look like he did. She's got a good exit as well. Jake Rich is gaining, but is he gonna go for a send? We have Swifty pitting. That is interesting. Will he come out ahead of Jake Rich? Is Swifty getting his wing replaced as well? He's not. He's standard pit stop. He should be comfortably ahead of uh, Jake Rich then. Let's see. Nova. I think he will be. Nova has made those softs last until lap 10. Mm. Just want to point that out. Yeah, Swifty will be comfortably ahead of uh, Acreage, but... These are positioned. He's behind, he's behind Chris. Chris. These are for position. Too. Yeah. But you need to remember, Swifty... Those super softs are not gonna last. They might not make the end. Yeah, they'll be really dead at the end. Yeah, actually, I take that back. I didn't realize Nova was on the off, so I thought. This is interesting now. Uh, Chris has now gone into the mix, and he's on only three lap old softs. He can definitely go to the end. Okay, yes, three lap old softs, but how long were those super softs lasting? Those were only on, what, six oh. laps? Jakerich once again pushing Cheese through these corners. It's kind of painful to watch how slow he has to go. But now he's getting a good run. He might have to go for this move because he's really holding him up. Down the inside, is he going to go for it? He is. Oh, again, he's cutting the corner. Cheese, he's got it so many times today. But oh, yeah. Jakerich had a really nice, really nice move here. And he's ahead. Oh, Cheese switches him. But he lifts. He gives up the position. Probably smart thing of Cheese to do as... Uh, He's not on the same pace as a Jake Rich, who is now. Right though, Chris is ahead. Yep. Oh, we have a incident. Is that paranoid? It's paranoid. And then ahead of him, Gallon Arrows going side by side through Raskas. Arrows in P8. Yeah, Jake Rich losing with the having the wing changed and being stuck behind Cheese. Seven seconds behind Mitro now. That's interesting, but the, the high tech pair obviously on the super soft tire. Yeah, those super soft are not gonna last the end unless you need tire saving. I don't think they're lasting. But high tech drivers are in the same position they were in before the pit stops. They have another car in front of them. It's not a sure uh, this time. Chris. Yep. Not a sure. They're on the super softs. It is the opposite situation, but there's also Garhan. Hmm. 
Those super softs, they were going around lap six. Yeah, Jacob was struggling on lap six, seven. Uh, Chris, meanwhile, setting purple sector two. So he's, he's looking really good on those softs. Soft seems to actually be the best race tire around here. Uh, seems to be the softs are the ones that are into his gown because he's going to go for it. To back the and now heading through towards Raskas, not close enough just about yet to go for a bomb, but he said the wall slightly. That's fine. No, not close enough. Fast second one. Super those will not last. As long as he wants them to, at least. Yeah. Uh, yeah, not much to say. There's a, I'll say, a two high tech still behind Chris up ahead. Uh, further down, and she's a second behind Jaker, so he's still sticking with him somewhat. 1.1 now, so outside of the DRS range. Behind him is Miles, six tenths behind him. Uh, obviously, they both have penalties, uh, three seconds each. Behind Arrows, making an overtake on Gal. Apparently, yeah. with a three second time penalty there. Uh, just want to say something quickly. Omi and uh, Talkton, you're saying my mic's cutting out. It's my headset. Mm, Nova with a time penalty. He's up on six seconds now. And yeah, the high tech pair is still behind Chris. He's doing a mega job keeping them uh, both behind. Meanwhile, Jay Critch. Well, Cheese has gained up to him now, three tenths the gap. So Jaker just struggling, the man who got pole position. He's down in P4, outside of the podium. Oh, Chris has made a mistake! And both of the high techs slipped by. And just like that, it's a high tech 1-2. That's a big mistake from Chris. As I said before I restarted my headset again, it's doing a good... Do you get back for any chance? Well, it's going to be very hard for Chris to get back up into the field now. Uh, I'm expecting there to be team orders. I don't think Mitra is going to push too much. He's probably going to let Swifty just pull away or something, as they've done in the past. Uh, maybe, let me look at the tire life. Maybe Swifty's tires will die off with the last two or three laps to go. Yeah, let's, let's see the condition of those super softs. How will they wear off? Uh, what would the degradation be like throughout the rest of this race? There's only uh, five laps to go, so yeah, we'll see. including this six laps yeah. left until to the finish line. Yes, yeah, so all eyes on this battle here for uh, one between Swifty, Nitro, and Chris. Battle for P8, still not going as well. Yeah. Just a bite yet. But, um, Aiden, fun while last one, Mitro, why don't you win? Uh, Swifty's not gonna wanna give this up as he is. Well, it would have been more interesting to see Chris still in P1, because now, yeah, he orders that. Oh, but there's a mistake from Swifty. As I say that, Nitro got really close. Looked like he was going to go for an overtake. He's practically pushing uh, Swifty through. He might just go for a move if he has to, surely. They're both fighting for the championship, and it looks like Swifties are holding him up a bit. They could risk, you know, uh, Chris getting ahead of both of them if they don't do something quickly. Yeah. Uh, Jude might have to make a decision here. Running the number seven on the high track. Is As it stands, uh, let me have a look at the standings. Not too sure it would be the um, the as it stands, but currently after round five, when we went to Austria, Austria, yeah, I was just trying to think of the track. Sorry, um, 
was a 15 point gap. Swifty is going to pull away by another six points. Oh, if it Mike finishes like this. Finish higher in the sprint race as well. By one position. So what yep. would that cast into only a, another four point lead to be 19 points after this race if it yeah. finishes like this? Yep. But only if it finishes like this. Finish like this. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Because, well, you never know. Um, Chris, in the end, could come back. Jatrix. But he's saying time penalty. That's his first one of the race. Yeah. Uh, but he has pulled away from Cheese finally. 2.5 behind. But he does have 11 seconds to Chris in front. Yeah. <laughs> Adam and, and Chat, have some fun yeah. while you're dominating. Uh, tell them tell them that to his uh, Division 1 team, please. Yeah, Chris now dropping off as well, 2.4, so uh, yeah, he's just looking, I think, to just bring it home, bring the podium home to uh, uni for seat. Uh, yeah. Cheese, three-second time penalty. Up to six That'll for him. That'll put him behind Miles. On yeah, track that will. Post, post, uh, post race. But, um... Yeah. Yeah, just uh, controlling the race now, Swifty and Mitra. Doesn't seem like Tyra is affecting him at all. Not much, at least. But I think. Oh, if you look on that front right, it does look like it's starting to give way a little bit. Hopefully, mm. for their sake, it doesn't. Worn off. For their sake, hopefully it doesn't. For our sake, um, hopefully it does. I want to see some racing. Man. They're, they're all just uh, might just sticking behind them, not looking for a move anywhere. Last race, he was all over arrows. Don't worry, Jude. I won't give him commentary's curse. Doesn't work here, apparently. Maybe now, Mitro. Oh. Getting right up behind them. Arrows at a three second time penalty. Will Mitra look? Oh, he has to go for it now. Look at him. It's a really nice run into Mirabon. No. Doesn't go for it. They all say that this is the only Mirabo um, corner. But there's actually two. Yeah. The Mirabo that we all know, and uh, turn 7 before Puria. So, exit of... But... Yeah, Mitra still following his team as we're into the final few laps of this race now. So not a lot of overtaking opportunities left. Galu and Arrows, again, these two fighting. Yeah, well, they're just swapping the positions. Theory. In the end, it wouldn't even matter because ours does have that. Unless he pulls away, but Gal is right behind them. Is he looking for the send? Oh, kind of. Oh, he taps him. Almost send him spinning. And towards the back, is he gonna go for it again? No, he's not. He's just gonna sit behind and wait because if it stays like this anyway. No matter what happens, he will get the but like a mile. Cheese. Oh. Miles and cheese Got now him. up the hill. Miles <laughs> has to stay behind them. Just having to stay behind. One and a half chance between the pair of them in the end, it won't even matter. Hunnox has that possession. He did retire. Okay. Uh, he... Ten or so ago, I think, don't I? Yep. Uh, I've noticed here now. So, yeah. The Super Sauce are definitely going now. Oh, Mitra cuts the corner! I was gonna say, they're struggling now, starting to struggle, and Chris has been gaining a lot of time. 1.7 now. So yeah, as expected now, coming up now onto the final lap soon, they are losing a bit of time to Chris. Not enough. Well, now Mitra, surely Swifty lets him by now, so he can try and pull away from Chris. Yeah, try and pull away people. with that gap. It looks like it is going to happen. Team water is coming yep. into effect as he's now been lap past. But this also gives Chris the chance to catch up 
as Ryan is back in chat, the team points about it's actually finally awake for once. Mm. I wouldn't be surprised if 50 slows down and backs Chris up a bit. Oh uh, yeah, for now, true. They're both just they're both just driving away. Yeah, 1.6 seconds between them now at this rate. Might just still gonna fall Chris. to P3. Chris is gaining a small bit. He is picking up the pace now on this last lap. 1.4 the gap to Swifty. So that's around 1.9 to my short. Imagine if Swifty got a penalty here now. That would be interesting. Yeah, as oh, yeah. in the back again, yeah. Garnox on our oh, swapping places up towards Massanet. And he's slightly spun wide, not sure if that was a tap on the rear, I didn't exactly get to see that from the correct POV, yeah. but now Swifty out of the DRS range, but it's not going to matter anymore because we're running off and now in towards Anthony knows it is oh, a high Chris tech made a mistake. Day. Chris made a mistake, he might lose it now. He's lost it. He might lose it, but it's going to be my turn oh, on track to win, no. but Swifty again here in Division 2, another win for him. In at least Monaco uh, for this one. Prince big Parody. For, oh, Jake Rich has spun. Jake Rich has spun. What has happened there? I don't know. Last cast. Is he going to be able to keep this P4 hitting three Anthony knows? Oh has he my able days. to? <laughs> able to keep it? He, he is. He's going to take P4. <laughs> Cheese will take P5 on track, but it's going to be Miles P5 on positions. High tech one two because of Chris's mistake. Yeah, Chris had it, and then he tapped the barrier, and um, yeah, fell over, yeah, 1.6 seconds outside the, the range. He was comfortably inside of it, but yeah. I think crossing the line there, don't know what's happened with the timings, but apparently I was, I'm not too sure what's happened there, but it was one point one and 2 over it, Callum. Weaving over the line. P11. But in the end, Swifty winning. That is two races in a row for him, at least in the feature races. Swifty looking to, yeah, he's gonna extend his uh, lead in the Drivers' Championship. That would be by four points, I think, if I'm right. Greedy on the podium, of course. Uh, Paranoid has kept a streak though. He's in the points again. He has, yeah, he's finishing the points. But feature race results for them Swifty P1 from P3 on the grid. Actually, finishing where he started, P2. I have shifted on this controller and I don't know why. Chris P3, JTRX P4. I'm sorry about this, I will try. I'm not even going to try to hold it down anymore. Maya was P5, Cheese P6, Nova in P7, Garnox P8, I was P9, Paranoid P10 again for him, so P10 weekend all round for him. I think it was at least. Callum in P11, winding off your finishers, then Honix and Stoney. The only two non finishers. And each time. Still need DNF'd. Yep. But anyway, apparently you might just give me a free sec. Mm. Yeah, I'm not going to read that message out loud. But anyway, that has been everything from like World and myself, Ace in Monaco for Division 2. I think you want comps to Mo for Division 1, if I'm right? Yep. With, with Callum. Callum. Yeah. So you have 
39 ups and monocle to deal with. Good luck yep. for that. Please, if you catch anyone doing a Vosburg, please clip it and send me it. I would like to see that. <laughs> if it's Josh, I'd like to see it even more. But anyway, that will wind off stream today. Hope everyone has had a good day and have a good rest of your night. Goodbye and good night.